and welcome to a very interesting session of Python coding. So tell me guys, how are you? Is everything on track? Yes, I can hear you. So which means you're all set ready for an exciting day of today's classes, am I right? Yes, so in this class, you are going to start studying something which is really interesting and important. Tell me guys, do you want to know what it is? Yes, I'll tell you. So in this class, you are going to study an interesting program in Python. Yes, you heard it right, Python. A language that supports various powerful libraries and frameworks in artificial intelligence. So one such programs will be explored in this class today. So first, I will share you a demo video of such a program. So come, let's explore it now. See what happens once I run this code. You see that something I had given inside the double quotes got printed as the output, right? Yes, but then how did that output come? No problem at all. I will solve it for you in this class. So for that, you will have to be aware of the coding concepts behind it, right? Yes, so first, let's see what are the concepts that you will be exploring in this class and what is the activity that you are going to make in this class using Python. So come, let's see that now. So in this class, you will be studying a program of Hello Python. Yes, and here you will learn coding concepts like what is an algorithm, what is programming, and what is programming language like Python, what are these Python keywords, what is indentation error, what is print function comments, and so on. So from this class, you will be exploring so many concepts in Python, and yes, you will be masters of Python. So yes, let's start it step by step. Just have a look onto my screen and tell me what can you see on the screen, guys? Yes, you can see a mom and her daughter, right? Yes, so mom is giving instructions to her daughter on how to brush her teeth. And just have a close look onto the instructions that she had given. Is that the correct order? Or will she get the result from such an instructions? Of course, no, right? Why? Tell me the reason now. Shoot me with your ideas. Yes, you said it. Because the order is dimpled, right? Yes, so that's the point. Order. While doing some activities or every activities in our day-to-day -day life follows a certain step-by-step -step process and we call it as algorithm. So algorithm means it is a step-by-step -step process that converts an input into output and only once we follow the correct order or algorithm, we will reach the correct output. And that is clearly visible from this example shown on the screen, right? Yes. So now let's get more and more closer to the subject. That is, I will teach you now what is coding and programming languages. So here is this example. So here is the example from me. If your teacher wants to do or make you do something, what will she do? Yes, she will instruct you on how to do that, right? So you can process it as you are a human being. But what about computers? Will they do it? Of course they will do it, but how? The question comes, how are they doing it, right? Yes, that is by the help of this programming. Programming means it's the in Programming means it is the set of instructions which are being given to a computer to do a particular task. So if you want to make computer do some particular task, you will have to give it instructions in a set of manner. And that is what programming is. So now have a look onto the example that is shown on the screen. And it's written hola comma estas, right? Do you guys know what is its meaning? Yes, I'll tell you with an example. So consider there's a person from Spain and he talks Spanish, okay? And once we communicate to him in our mother tongue, will he be able to follow that? Of course, no. We have to communicate to him in a language that is understood by him, right? Yes, so this is where we need programming languages. Programming languages are used to communicate to computer in a better way. So, and they are the languages which is followed by the computers. And here is one such example which we were talking in this class and that's Python. Yes, how many of you have heard this topic before Python? 
Oh, seems interesting to see that that some of you have heard about this language, right? Yes, good, great. So speaking about Python, Python is a simple, general purpose, high level and object oriented programming language. Yes, Python have fewer line codes and it is easily compatible and it is having a free and open source. Yes, that is, it helps in fast development and now I'll tell you, see, Python has become most popular in recent years. Do you know why? Yes, because it can be used for simple machine learning to higher software testing and developing. And that's where the importance of Python comes. So this is what I told Python as a simple and interpreted language that can be used in web development, software development, in education, game development, 3D graphics and also in many of the desktop applications. Do you know something? Many big companies like NASA, Google, YouTube, Netflix and so on are using this Python for their working purposes. Yes, and do you know something? There are a lot of AI projects which are being completely based on Python and here are some of the examples of that. First, there is a lot of machine learning projects like movie recommendation system, deep learning projects like image classification, computer vision projects like image segmentation, reinforcement learning projects like game playing AI and time series analysis like weather forecasting. So these are some of the AI projects which can be built by using Python as a language. Yes, that's it. So now you got the importance of Python, right? Yes. So now are you set ready to use Python and be good coders using Python language? So then let's get into our Python programming now. So come, let's explore it. And I'll tell you, PyCharm is a software that we are using in order to code Python programming. So what you guys have to do is to go to your Google Chrome and search for PyCharm. Its link will be available to you from the supporting materials. And now click on the first link and then go down. So make sure that you are downloading PyCharm of Community Edition. Yes, give download from here. Yes, and the further process will be explained in detail from the supporting materials. Yes, so this is how your PyCharm editor will be looking like. And PyCharm editor is a cross-platform IDE or a main part of IDE, I would say, that will help you to create, read and modify cards. First, I'll teach you how to create a new file in Python. So for that, or if you please follow my instruction, or if you please click on the Python project now, and then click on new and then select python file yes here is where you will have to enter the name of your python project and i choose here hello python yes so i'm done with creating my file of hello python what about you have you guys done it no then it's your time please do it all of you Yes, I hope you're ready with it now. Now, just have a close look onto the screen. Can you see that middle portion over there? Yes, so we will start with script. That is called as a script area and it is an area which is provided to us for writing programming of Python. Yes, and it refers to Python writing environment with graphical interface. And do you know something? There is a backend parser which is being available in Python that can automatically check whether there is any misspellings, current coding packages, current packages, and highlight or even suggest any coding styles. Yes, that all are the advantages while using Python. Then I'll begin by teaching what is comments. Have been onto this topic like comments before? 
No, right? See, comments are something which begins with a hashtag and is never executed by the program. Yes, so comments means they are just descriptions which are being given in a hash symbol and they will not be executed while running the program. I'll show you one such comment and we call it a single line comment. Yes, come, let's see that. So here I'm going to give a comment like hashtag and here I'm giving print Yes, I had given here print hello python and do you know something? So in this class we are going to learn how to print something in python, right? Yes, so I had given a comment and is it enough to, for the program to be executed? Definitely not. Why? Yes, simply because comments are not being executed in a program, right? They are just given as description. And the example that I had shown you is what a single line comment is. Yes, so I told you that comments will never be executed and what is to be executed? That's what I'm going to show now. See what I'm going to do now. What have I done there? I'm damn sure that you will have absolutely zero idea of what I have done here, right? Yes, no worry. I'll teach you what I have done. And here I had given an instruction that will produce the output or that will print Hello Python. And do you guys know how I did it? Yes, you may see the screen, right? I, absolutely, I have given a comment like print. And here comes the question, what is the use of this print, right? Yes, so print function is used to display the output messages. That is, if I want to get the output messages produced on the screen, then I will have to use a function which is shown here and that's called as print and do you guys know how to execute a program i'll teach you before that it's your time or if you just do this yes or if you just give the instruction like print hello python yes it's your turn please do that have you done that yes so now it's time to execute the program right yes and do you guys know how i'm going to do that I'll show you. Once I right click on the program, then it will show the run button. Okay. So once I click on that, see what happens. Yes, I got the output as hello python. This is what I printed, right? Yes, I had given the instruction to print hello python and absolutely I get the output as hello python. Have you got it? Yes. So how, how did that come? Yes, we use we used a button which is called as run to execute the program, right? Yes, so how did I so how did I get it? Just right click on it and then click run hello python as hello python is the name of the file that I have used here. And once I click on that, yes, I get the output. So now it's your time. Just try printing out your name. Yes, I'm going to try it with a name now. I want to print a name as Shina and what will I do for that? Yes, I had given like this, okay? And then I'm going to run it. You see that? I got the output as Ashina now. Yes, and have you noticed something here? Yes, that is what a console window is. That is, it output after executing the Python commands and it includes terminal which is used to interact or which provides tools for interacting with the computer. I hope my point made sense to you, right? Yes. So it's your time. Just try it out now. And speaking about Python, some special reserved words are there that have some specific meaning and purposes in Python. And one such example of that is continue, else, and so on. We will deal, we will study everything in detail once we are on to that. And such special words with specific meaning is what we call as Python keywords. I hope it's clear for you, right? Yes. Now, may I show you something? 
Yes, just have a close look on the screen, okay? This was the program which we did, right? And I'm going to add something onto that and see what happens. Okay? Earlier, we got the output as Hello Python, right? I hope you remember that. And now see what we are getting. What is that? Yes, you got the output as indentation error, right? And do you guys have any idea how does it happen? The same code itself, right? And how does this happen? Yes, that's why we say in Python indentation is important. That means you see that space in between the print I had given? Space is given at the beginning of a line. And if you skip indentation, then it will show you the error as intendation error that is how it comes here like that because i had given space before the print yes just try it out and see yes i try it out yes happy to hear that so now it's time to wind up so let's recap what are the lessons that we have learned in this class so in this class first we studied what is algorithm, right? Yes, so here in the example which is shown on the screen also, you can see that we have to follow certain step-by-step -step process in order to reach at the output, right? Yes, that is what algorithm is. Algorithm means it is the step-by-step -step process that converts an input into output and there we come across what is programming and of course you can see on the screen, right? Yes, so programming means it is a step of instructions like print hello python which we give computer to do a particular task, right? Yes, I hope you remember that. Yes, and then we come across a software which is PyJump. Yes, so PyJump is one of the main part of IDE that is used to create and modify cards in python. Yes, and we learned what is Python, right? Yes, so Python is one of the most common languages that became very popular in the recent years because Python is an object-oriented programming language that has fewer line cards and is easily compatible. And then we learned how to print something in Python and of course, we use here the print function, right? Yes, so if I want to display at the name of an object like pen, I will give the comment as print and brackets and then I'll run it off and I'll get the output as pen, right? Yes. So here we learn what is console window that will output the comments after executing and then we learn terminals which are used as tools for interacting with the computer, right? Yes. And there again we come across what is a indentation error that is the space is given at the beginning of the line if you skip this indentation it will show you indentation error okay see what happens now so these are the concepts that we have learned in this class so i hope all of you enjoyed the session thank you all for your participation have a nice day bye take care